It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. I am an Antifa piece of shit. I'm going to destroy buildings. I'm gonna let cars on fire. And guess what? I also have my Antifa flag. And so therefore, yes, I'm really, really excited to actually do those kind of stuff. No pasaran, no pasaran, no pasaran, no pasaran. Oh, I'm just kidding about all this kind of stuff. But seriously, this video has to do with Antifa because basically it was like news related to Donald Trump. And I figured why not talk about Antifa right now. Of course, here's a tweet from Donald Trump. The United States of America is designating Antifa as a terrorist organization. Honestly, before the announcement of Donald Trump to be fair, there was actually a listing of Antifa as a terrorist group in our government. So it's not necessarily the first time that he actually, of course, announced this. But, of course, people were going after him for saying something that is already confirmed fact. But I still think it's a wrong idea to list Antifa as a terrorist organization. Before I get my personal arguments against this whole entire idea of laboring Antifa as a terrorist organization, I first want to state, of course, that I am personally against Antifa. That stuff in the beginning, of course, that was all a huge joke. However, I am in fact against Antifa and their methods. I don't like seeing stuff being destroyed by them. I don't like them attacking people. I don't like them at all. As a matter of fact, it's like one of my hatest groups I just absolutely hate because their methods do not actually do any sort of justice whatsoever. However, I feel as though that by actually calling Antifa a terrorist organization, it actually might remove due process. Now, of course, there are some people online, like Shoe on Head and of course, like Jeff Holiday, that argue that Antifa is not an organization. However, I think it's the contrary. For example, Antifa have their own personal flag. They have their own personal course manifesto. They have, of course, entire organizations across the United States, not just the United States, but also, of course, in various European countries. And, of course, they had to organize to plan an attack to attack other people. And so it's pretty obvious that there are a chain of organizations that are actually playing out the same sort of strategy, share the same sort of ideology. And so, of course, I do in fact believe that Antifa is very much organized. Maybe it's me. Maybe this is how I'm wired or something. But I honestly do not believe that you cannot be not organized, but organized stuff. That to me is a bit of a contradiction if you were to ask me. As everybody knows, there are various cases of kangaroo courts in college campuses in regards to men. The most famous examples, of course, are the Mattress Girl and, of course, the whole entire situation with Rolling Stone. Now, the problem with those two cases is that it assumed guilty until proven innocent. And, of course, the men in those trials had no sort of justice to actually defend them because of the false accusations. However, however, I need to clarify, there is, of course, a big, big difference between someone actually committing the crime and some nobody in college campus who want to be edgy, obviously. Let's take, for example, Greta Stumberg. Now, obviously, of course, I know that most people, myself included, are not a fan of that girl. But, of course, there are photographs across the internet where she actually wore an Antifa shirt. And to my knowledge, at least, she has not committed any single act of terrorism just because she wore that shirt. And so, I want to assume, of course, innocence until proven guilty because as long as she has not done an act of terrorism, why would I automatically assume that Greta Stumber is a terrorist just because she supports Antifa. If somebody happens to be part of Antifa 
and actually committed acts of terrorism, obviously, obviously, that person needs to be caught and get trialed. But if it's some sort of random nobody in college campuses just wearing the Antifa shirt, should we then assume by association that person's a terrorist too? Even though there is no evidence of that person committing acts of terror? That to me is pretty scary. It's pretty scary to think that someone is of course a terrorist by association even though they never have done anything wrong. Look guys, the ideology of Antifa is terrible. But this idea that Donald Trump is proposing is removing any type of due process that we know it right now for these kind of people. And that to me is not fair. It's not fair to actually assume people are guilty by association. And I think that these kind of people who actually, of course, vandalize stuff, they need to be trailed. But the people who have not done stuff, I think is a bit too far to call them terrorists too. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.